Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 13th through to the 19th. Happy birthday to any of you celebrating a birthday this week. I hope you have a fantastic one. I already shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's get to your reading, Taurus. First up, we have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright, for, followed then by the Nine of Swords reversed. Next, we have the Hierophant in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Wands in the upright. And lastly, we have the Eight of Cups reversed. So, for your overall energy, we have the Seven of Pentacles. You are thinking long and hard about something this week. It looks like you are reevaluating. Some of you are reevaluating your workplace or how you make your money. You could be taking a, a close look at that. I do love um, reevaluating myself. I think it's really, really important that we just don't take things for granted and we make sure that we are looking at things from time to time and taking a close look at it. There's always something we can improve or, you know, add in or take away or do uh, differently. So it's always good to take a close look at it. Some of you are taking a close look at your financial situation <coughs> for whatever reason. Again, very good. Even if you have money, say, for example, in investments, it's always good to reevaluate that every once in a while just to make sure that things are still, again, what can you move? What can you take away? What can you add to it? So it's definitely good to reevaluate um, situations. It, it is pentacles, so it does definitely govern money and, and, and resources like that. But it's also anything material. So for some of you, you could be reevaluating your material goods. Maybe you're looking over your house and saying, well, maybe I need to downsize some of this furniture or what have you. And you could be looking at, you know, maybe I'm going to put it up for sale. I'll put it up on Marketplace and see what I can get for. Any of those things um, are really good. No matter what it is, if you're reevaluating your home and where you live, you're reevaluating your business, your job, your finances... It's a good thing. It doesn't show you moving about anywhere, but you're just looking at something right now. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the four, or sorry, the nine of swords in the reverse position. The nine of swords upright can point to a lot of sleepless nights due to overthinking about a situation that we perceive as a problem we need to solve. So this could be trying to come up with nine different solutions for a problem. Um, it could be that we feel we have nine different problems and we're trying to solve them in the middle of the night for some strange reason. We think that's a good idea. When it really isn't, we should be, when we go and put our head on the pillow, we should be going to sleep and not thinking about these things. In any case, the Nine of Swords now is in the reverse position, pointing to um, some relief from this overthinking of a situation. But sometimes the Nine of Swords in reverse can indicate that we found a solution, that there is some kind of resolution. It could have something to do with you guys um, reevaluating something. Maybe some of you were thinking about how can I shift my finances or how can I switch jobs or how can I do this, buy another house. And it, it, You could have just been having that on your mind and now that you're looking at a situation you could be like, okay, well that brings me relief. Maybe you're realizing you do have more options than you thought you did. Next card up, the Taurus energy here, the Hierophant in the upright position. Well, this could be the reason why um, you're looking so closely at a situation because this is the uh, commitment card. So this, is, this governs uh, contracts and commitments. Um, it can also represent doing things more the traditional way. You know, say, for example, getting married as opposed to living together. That's something, doing something in a more traditional way. And some of you, yes, maybe you are getting married this week. Others of you are making a commitment to someone. For some of you, the... Um, the Hierophant is representing signing a contract. It could be a work thing. It could be sign. It has special significance if you are considering like taking a term position in um, in some of the more traditional realms. Like if you're working for some kind of uh, religious society or something like that, or even education or the government, something that has like um. Uh, 
some kind of regiment basically which is formal right so it could be that some of you are signing a contract for that others of you this could be maybe why you were looking at your finances maybe you want to commit to a new home a new business or something like that remember this is Taurus energy too though and you're coming up in your own reading in the upright position indicating you are on the right path if that's what it is if you want to sign a contract you want to get married you want to do um buy a house do whatever it is that you want to do you're on the right path so keep moving in that <laughs> in that direction moving on towards the weekend you have the lovely ace of wands in the upright position ace is always ushering something new it could be something very exciting it could indicate travel for some of you because that's the wands do govern travel business enterprise as well as fun adventure so it could be on any of those topics for some of you the passion maybe was lost in a, a fun and exciting relationship. The passion could be returning for others of you. If the passion was waning somehow for your business or for travel or what have you, it could be coming back. But for many of you, this is something new, fun and exciting. And it's a fresh start for you. you remember, I've talked to you many times on the, on this channel, uh, Taurus, about how, you know, Jupiter was in your first house. It's moving on to Gemini, your house of finance. And th this is a good time for building blocks, for building some things for your next um you are already started your next 12 year cycle so this is a good time to take chances commit to things you know grab grab hold of whatever it is you want to um you know lay as a foundation for what's coming in the uh eight of cups here is in the reverse position well uh, eight of cups in the upright i call it by felicia <laughs> the by felicia card just it, in a sense it looks like this person is walking away from all the love and support and everything that they have from friends family it's not the way i see this card this is more a case of because in the story of the tarot the in the eight of cups they're trying to to go towards the nine of cups they're looking for something to build on they're they're trying to build their emotional wealth right so the eight of cups when it's in reverse this is uh indicative of somebody who's going back to the past maybe the seven of cups where there's a lot of options and opportunities trying to pick and choose the right option that will make us happy on the emotional front so for some of you, you could be looking at uh, perhaps going back to an old job, an old career, or even a, your hometown or someplace that you were very, very happy in once upon a time that brought that great emotional fulfillment. For others of you, it could be a relationship from the past that you think maybe this is a good time for you to pursue it. But you're just, again, just like with the reevaluation here, you're just in the stages now of looking. This is the... Um, I always call it the vision quest card. We're just looking, we're searching. It looks like this week you're poking around. You are getting ready to commit to something brand new that you find exciting. Now, what that thing is, I don't know. These are just general uh, readings. So you'll have to leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what it is for you. But it looks like you're, you're uh, realizing something. You're coming out of the anxiety in the sleepless nights something is dawning on you in the early part of the week you decide that you're going to make a commitment to something but you're just still in the early stages of reevaluating finances reevaluating what's going to make you the happiest and you're looking to move in that direction looks like a really interesting and very um uh, very positive reading. <laughs> so in closing, I will pull one of the wisdom cards from the wisdom oracle deck and we'll see what we have for Taurus here. Deep knowing is your card. Deep knowing. Hmm. Interesting. I like that owl on the top of this face. It's very cool. Deep knowing could be pertaining to anything. Maybe there, it's your soul, a deep knowing of your soul, what to do. And just, well, I always say trust your instincts, trust your um, intuition, trust your soul's path. It will never lead you astray. So that's what I have for you, my dear Taurus. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.